Spartan Jennings here from Lay and Sleep. I'm going to show you the bronchoscopy procedure now for a patient uh, who's had a lesion in the right upper lobe. Now hopefully you've seen my video showing the CT scan. The video is entitled Right Upper Lobe Lesion with Hyalur Lymph Node. If you haven't seen that, have a quick look at that because it's interesting to see the CT first and now I'll show you the bronchoscopic findings. So here we are during the bronchoscopic procedure and we're just in the trachea, clear some of the secretions away. So there you can see the carina. There's a bit of secretion there, most of that's surfactant, normal lung secretion. There seems to be more than there should be. We're just going down to the right main bronchus there and there's the right upper lobe. If we suction from the right upper lobe, we can see that in the anterior segment, which is the one on the left, there's this stringy, white, thick mucus coming from that segment. You can see that segment's really plugged off with that mucus. It's very thick blocking the whole segment. And that fits really well with what we saw in the CT scan. So this lesion is not a tumour, it's mucus plugging within that airway. This is a very good result for the patient. Here we are back to the trachea and the main carina, going down the right main bronchus. Really just trying to suction that secretion out. That's some saline being washed through the bronchoscope to help suction it. It's very satisfying just to try and suction all that mucus out and remove it. And there we are, getting it, getting it out, and there we go. We've suctioned it all out. That's the apical segment up there, that looks clear. Posterior segment. And there's the anterior segment. And if we go and have a good look in there, we can see that there's no tumour. The airway looks quite normal now that the secretion has been removed. Now I'm just flushing some saline in there to demonstrate so no you can tumor. See a nice case where the CT scan showed obstruction of one airway and we could map that bronchoscopically using the CT scan as a guide to the anterior segment of the right upper lobe and we could see that that was mucus plugged. And once we removed the mucus, there was certainly no obstructive tumour, which was a good sign. And from that, we can assume that that right hyalur lymph node was in fact inflammatory or a response to the process within the lung. So therefore, I did not use the EBUS scope to look at that right hyalur lymph node or biopsy it because my concern for malignancy was significantly reduced based on that finding of the mucus impaction in the airway. The next step will be to look at the samples to see if there's any underlying infection and also to do a follow-up CT scan to ensure that those changes in the lung and the lymph node are resolving. So hopefully that was an interesting case um, and you're able to learn something from that. Yeah.